everyone. Welcome back to the WBRM TV monthly broadcast. Great to have you back. We want to thank you for yet another successful episode. This would not be possible without the help of the amazing faculty and students at this school. This episode, we will have a lot of exciting stories, like an interview with the amazing Miss Lopez, as well as pictures from our annual science fair, and a recap from the teachers versus student volleyball game, plus more. Now, here's our interview with one of our amazing social studies teachers. Let's see what Miss Lopez had to say. Um, I teach 11th grade A-Push and 12th grade AP Europe. Um, I don't really have a favorite. I like both of them. They're both interesting and I get to teach different stories all day long and I get to weave them together between 11th and 12th grade for them to see different things we've talked about in different classes. The students. Um, they're, they're knowledgeable. They're taking classes because the higher levels because they want to take them a lot of times. So um, they make my job easy. Um, me and the other social study teachers that go, we like to take the kids to see history firsthand. So a lot of the stuff we talk about in class, we take them to see it in person, and then it connects it more to them, to their lives, and to history. Um, for me, I like Ellis Island when we go to New York, because I'm able to trace some of my family's roots and find their manuscripts and um, transfer papers there. And then my favorite is I think when we went to Chicago, um, we got to see Jane Addams' Hull House that we talk about a lot. And she's one of my favorite, uh, favorite um, reformers. And I actually found out more about her by going there. So probably those two places. Not a thing. We just ring it when we go out there. <laughs> Um, Ms. Boudreaux, Mr. Donald, Mr. Peak, um, uh, Mr. Borders, Ms. LeVay, um, a lot of the same ones, Mr. Myers, we kind of play every year. Mm -hmm. um, don't spike at my face. <laughs> and that's about it. All right. I think that's it. Is that it? Okay. That's it. All right. Thanks, Ms. Lopez, for the interview and everything you do for the school. We really appreciate it. The Baton Rouge Magnet High School Science Fair took place on Wednesday, January 15th, from 12 to 2.15 p.m. in the school cafeteria. Participants were called out of class around 11.45 a.m. to pick up their boards and set up their projects in the cafeteria for judging. Congratulations to all the winners in this year's science fair. All first and second place winners will move on to state regionals at LSU. Regionals will take place on Wednesday, February 19th. Good luck, Bulldogs. This month, we decided to find out what the students at Baton Rouge High are listening to. Let's take a look at what they had to say. Hi, I'm Achilles Seacrest, and for today's broadcast, we're going to be introducing a new feature where we go around the school and ask people what their favorite song is. So if you'd like to know, go ahead and take a look. Um, I'm here with Michael Smith, and can you ask us, can you answer the question, what is your favorite song at this exact moment? It's Circles by Post Malone. Uh, I'm here with Brandon Burns, and what's your favorite song at the exact moment right now? My favorite song is uh, Daniel Caesar's Cyanide. Could you tell me what your favorite song is right now? Uh, it's The Bops by Roddy Ricch. What is your favorite song right now? Probably Chant 2 from Hadestown. What is your favorite song right now? Say So by Doja Cat. Could you guys please tell me what your favorite song is as of right now? Um, I Spoke to the Devil in Miami by XXXTentacion. The Less I Know the Better by Tame Impala. Um, definitely Hold Me Down by Shakewell and his Keystone Prince album. What is your favorite song at this moment? Dance the Night Away by Twice. Uh, what is your favorite song of this exact moment? Um, Sugar by Brockhampton. And what is your favorite song as of this exact moment? Um, Hot Knifer by Peach Pit. All right, and what is you guys' favorite songs right now? Oh, no. Uh, yeah, by Usher. That's the first that popped up. Blank Space by Taylor Swift. Um, Senorita by Camila Cabello. Gummo by 6 9 <laughs> What is your favorite song at this exact moment? My favorite song at this exact moment is Colt 45. All right, and what is you guys' favorite song at this exact moment? My favorite song is This Is For Rachel. 
Renegade. All right. What is your favorite song as of this exact moment? Um, probably Sunflower by Post Malone. All right. Can you guys answer the question, what is your favorite song at this exact moment? Our favorite. Our, Our favorite, favorite song, song is, is Get Silly. Silly. What is your favorite song as of this exact moment? My favorite song right now is Watermelon Sugar by Harry Styles. That's it. What is your favorite song at this exact moment? Um, Let's Be Still by The Head and the Heart. What is your favorite song at this exact moment? It's called Nutshell by Alice in Chains. And what is your favorite song as of this moment? Wait a Minute by Willow Smith. <laughs> What's your favorite song right now? My favorite song right now is Holland 1945 by Neutral Milk Hotel. We hope you guys enjoyed watching that. I sure know I did. And now back to the studio. Now the moment we've all been waiting for, the teacher versus students volleyball game. Here's a recap of the game that we put together. Let's take a look. Hello, here we are at the Baton Rouge High teachers versus students uh, volleyball game. And here I have Reese Pella one of the players on the student side, and we're about to interview him today. So what exactly have you been doing to prepare? Uh, we've been practicing after school, outside of school, and even like during school, during some classes, so. And do you think you're ready? Yes, yes, definitely. I think we're gonna win this. Okay, and so then what teacher are you most excited to go against? Uh, Miss Cal's husband, actually. I heard he's very good, so that'll be a fun match to play. So. All right, all right. And so once you successfully beat him, mm -hmm. What are you going to do to celebrate? Uh, rub it in Ms. Boudreaux's face because she's playing too. So we're out to get you, Ms. <laughs> Boudreaux. Magnet High School volleyball game, this time with a teacher participant, Dr. Awil. How are you feeling about today's game? I feel pretty good. You know, okay. I played volleyball last year in a teacher game, so I feel prepared. I can do this. <laughs> okay, and so do you think that you guys are going to win today? Of, of course, of course. I mean, if we lose, we still technically already win, so you know. <laughs> and so once you win, how are you going to plan on celebrating? I'm going home. <laughs> going to get some rest and probably uh, ice down. Probably. <laughs> here today at the Baton Rouge Magnet High School volleyball game, teachers versus students. Everyone played fantastic, the teachers, the students. We're going home for the weekend, long weekend. Hope to see you guys back here again on Tuesday. Back to y'all. Congratulations to the students for winning and defeating the teachers this year. It was a lot of fun to watch and we hoped everyone enjoyed it. That will wrap up this month's broadcast. We'll be back next month with a special surprise in our next broadcast. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Go Bulldogs! Wolf! <laughs>